commit yourself to her, to be trustworthy in marriage, to cherish her friendship, and love her today, tomorrow, and forever. Will you put your trust in her and honor her? Will you laugh and cry with her and faithfully love her throughout the best and most challenging times? Do you promise to care for Don as the love of your life? And if you notice, you have only one answer for all of those questions. And that answer is, I do. Don, do you take Ken to be your husband? Do you commit yourself to him, be trustworthy in marriage, to cherish your friendship and love him today, tomorrow, and forever? Will you put your trust in him and honor him? Will you laugh and cry with him and faithfully love him throughout the best and most challenging times? Do you promise to care for Ken as the love of your life? I do. Marriage vows are more simple than simple promises of faithfulness. These vows that you are about to make will unite the two of you in your new life together. They are to be your lifelong commitment, the foundation of your marriage. By repeating these vows, you are creating a union, a new identity for both of you. From now on, you will be known by everyone as husband and wife. I pray that these vows will always remind you of the loving commitment you are making today before God and these witnesses. Donna, do you hand off the book? Because I'm going to read your hand. And if you both will hold hands. All right. Ken, I want you to repeat these vows after me. We're going to go real slow. Thank you. <laughs> I can take you, Don. I can take you, Don, to be my wife. To be my wife. I promise above all else. I promise above all else to live in truth with you. To live in truth with you. And to communicate. And to communicate fully and fearlessly. Fully and fearlessly. I give you my hand and my heart. I give you my hand and my heart. As a sanctuary. As a sanctuary. Of warmth and peace. Of warmth and peace. And pledge my love. And pledge my love. Devotion. Devotion. Faith. Take you, Ken, to be my husband. To be my husband. I promise above all else. I promise above all else. To live in truth with you. To live in truth with you. And to communicate. And to communicate. Fully and fearlessly. Fully and fearlessly. I give you my hand and my heart. I give you my hand and my heart. As a sanctuary of warmth and peace. As a sanctuary of warmth and peace. And pledge my love. And pledge my love. Devotion. Devotion. And honor, and honor as I join in my life to yours. As I join my life to yours. <laughs> the wedding ring is an unbroken, never ending circle as your commitment and love to, for each other is never ending. These simple bands are not of great value in themselves, but are made precious by what they represent. They are a symbol to you and the world of your union. Your rings say that you are two individuals bound together. When you look at these rings, remember the commitment that you've made to each other today. Ken, if you'll place the ring on Don's finger to repeat after me. Just as this circle is without end, just like this circle is without end, my love for you is eternal. My love for you is eternal. Just as it is made of an indestructible substance, just as it's made of an indestructible <laughs> substance, my commitment to you, my commitment to you will never end. Will never, never fail. With this ring, with this ring, I take you to be my wife. I take you. the ring on Ken's finger and repeat after me. Just as this circle is without end. Just as this circle is without end. My love for you is eternal. My love for you is eternal. Just as it is made. Just as it is made. Of an indestructible substance. 
of an indestructible substance. My commitment to you. My commitment to you. Will never fail. Will never fail. With this ring. With this ring. I take you to be my husband. I take you to be my husband. Just as Ken and Don have exchanged their vows to each other as husband and wife, they have special vows to their children and their children to them. Not only are they entering into a covenant of two people, but are uniting two families as one. Well. Ken and Don, do you promise to love Brandy, Nicole, Jesse, Jenna, and Miranda, to nurture them and protect them them and cherish them now and forever. We do. We do. Brandy. Nicole. Jesse. <laughs> Jenna. And Miranda. Do you promise to love Ken and Don as your parents? Do you promise to respect them? Let me add that again. Do you promise to respect them? <laughs> Five girls here. <laughs> And cherish them now and forever as one family united. Ken and Don have gifts for their children. As their wedding ring symbolizes a reminder of their love, these bracelets are a reminder to the children that they are encircled in a union of love and as a member of this family. Today, Ken and Don have chosen to commemorate their marriage through a unity candle ceremony. This ceremony symbolizes their inseparable union as they began a new and eternal marriage relationship. These two outside candles that Don's mother and sister have, are lighting, and they are, Candles that Don's mother and Ken's sister have lit represent their lives to this moment. They are a symbol of Ken and Don's separate lives, separate families, separate sets of friends, representing all that they are and everything that they were before today. To bring radiance into their home, there must be a merging of the two flames into one. As Ken and Don light the center candle and extinguish their own, those separate and individual will cease to exist. Instead, they will merge into a loving and supportive union, uniting their individual lives, families, and friends 